Firstly, it is policy development and advocacy. The UPU should champion the development of policies that do not discriminate any stakeholder in the postal sector and advocate with individual governments to adopt them. Being an arm of the UN, the UPU can easily get an audience with governments Unlike national post offices, driving such initiatives individually is quite taxing. We need more forms of uh, UPU and government agencies responsible for the post and finance. We need more forums for UPU and government uh, agencies uh, responsible for uh, postal and also for finance so that the postal uh, operators can be assisted in terms of funding for the operations of the postal. Secondly, it is digitalization. Digitalization is key to the success of the post. Digitalization is key to the offering of uh, more products and services from the post to the rest of the citizens in our countries. We need assistance in uh, infrastructure, connectivity, power, and more solutions under the dot post that are secure, scalable, user-friendly, and of course modular because our needs are different. Capacity building and training programs. We need exchange programs. The UPU can champion the exchange of staff for learning and transfer of best practices. Formal training, we are looking at training of ICT staff and other specialized training for postal sectors in order for the staff to be um, able to provide the services that are required to be able to embrace the digitization so that they can use the ICT systems to offer the services. Malawi Post Corporation is a user of the ICT systems and applications that are being provided by the Universal Postal Union. They are cheap, they are secure, they are easy to access. The UPU can also help in terms of capacity building in women empowerment and also other programs that are tailor-made for youth empowerment.